friends out here. Just thought I'd do a little video outside of my errand for the day. It's been like sweltering hot here in California. I got my hair up in one braid in the back and then one braid in the front. <laughs> Getting creative with it with the free foreign dreadlocks. <clears throat> Some people think that free foreign dreadlocks you shouldn't be braiding them or doing anything to them. I think if you're trying to keep your hair out of your face and out of the way, then it's just fine. And people are getting a little too technical with the term, the free form dreadlocks, um, I think. And with just, in general, not using the word dread and dreadlocks, I'm just using locks, L-O-C-S. I did a video about this. Um, Uh-oh, my joint's out. <laughs> I did another video about this, talking about it, talking about how the definition for me is freeform dreadlocks is as little manipulation as possible. And this is really little manipulation for me doing this. One braid in the back, one braid in the front to the side with a little dreadlock sleeve on there that I got a long time ago from this really cool lady named Sandra, not Sandra, Tandra, I think. I might be wrong. Or Tanya. She's from Canada and she makes dreadlock sleeves and she does a really great job of it. So if you want to check her out, you can check out my, um, my Facebook because I have a few photos of myself wearing the dreadlock sleeves that she made for me. So this one she made personally for me. So yeah. Um, people think that you shouldn't do hardly anything, just let it go, let it out. And if you let your hair, your, at least for me, if I let my freeform dreadlocks just sit out all the time while I'm doing chores, while I'm, you know, doing messy stuff like painting, you know, or when I'm sewing even, because if I'm sewing, my dreads will get in. I'll end up accidentally trying to sew my dreads into whatever I'm working on. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> it's funny because, <laughs> because I, I've always wanted long hair and now I've got it. And <laughs> these are not really that big of complaints for me. I just braid it up, put it up and be done with it. Um, so, yeah. If I stop talking, it's because cars are going by. And it's not any really people walking around, it's just cars mainly. So I look like an anomaly here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I find that the, the more simple I've been with my dreadlocks, the better I've been, better off I've been. And now, now they're finally at a length where I can put them up and it's not too tight, but, but <laughs> I can't sleep at night with my hair like this. I can't I have to take my hair down at night. Some people like to wear their hair up at night to keep it protected. I have to wear it down. And lately I haven't been using a, a sleeping cap. My sleeping cap is all messed up. I have to make a whole new one. And also, because it's been so hot here lately, and sunny California over a hundred degree weather it's been too hot to have something on my head so um, I just been making sure my hair is well uh, trying to make sure my hair is well moisturized lately what I've been doing is uh, I've been using coffee just regular coffee and spritzing it on my hair and then putting a little bit of olive oil on it to seal in seal in the moisture and that seems to be helping I just ran out of my sunflower oil so I haven't been using that so that's why I switch off oils with my hair and I didn't used to use oils uh, some people will think it's bad for, for your dreadlocks to use too much oil um, I think you have to just figure out what works for you and your hair and not look at anybody else. Um, if I do put too much oil on it, it can get like a build up and that's not good. So, um, 
And that usually only happens when I, um, when does that usually happen? It happens when, if I would put the oil on and my hair is like soaking wet and I put tons of oil on it, we'll get in there and get all, cause my dreads are like a sponge, right? So all those oils will get in there and it'll turn like weird and gooey. And when you, when you press it, it's like gooey and not right. <laughs> that how my dreads should feel. flowers around here. I try to find beauty wherever I can. Now that I don't have a backyard and I live in an apartment, I try to find the beauty in life wherever I can. These flowers are beautiful. So yeah, anyway. But back to it, yeah. I've been using the coffee, coffee, spraying it on my hair and then putting the, the olive oil a little bit on top on my hair and scalp. I still been using the wild growth hair oil and it's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm across the street. But yeah, it's it's been working really well. Um, it's been helping my edges, especially up front here, my edges, and in the back, my hair has grown a lot as far as uh, gaining thickness and not falling out. So that's good news, and it's not as dry and brittle. So. A lot more cars coming up. It's getting later in the day here. And I've found that putting my hair up does help me not, uh, not do anything bad to it. Yeah, so, I mean, people will call this a protective style because it's protecting my hair my dreadlocks from getting damaged and it's protecting the length uh, in it keeping the ends tucked in so that uh, so that it doesn't they don't break off and uh, these are simple things that people have learned throughout the years when they decided to see if they can let their hair grow long um, people seem to think there's an obsession with people that want really long hair um, I did at first when my hair wasn't long. Um, I thought it was an obsession, especially people who are getting, deciding to lock their hair, let their hair lock. They want to have long hair right away. And way back when, I kind of felt that way, but not. I thought, well, I just need to let go and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey of freeform dreadlocks and see where it takes me and not worry about whether or not they're going to get long or not. And I notice that when I don't think about that too much and just keep them healthy as much as I can, then, then uh, I don't experience any breakage at all. And yeah. I, I do encourage people to like, Definitely eat well as well as you can. And Drew likes the hydrating fluids, things that are healthy, rich in vitamins and minerals. Um, I've been recently uh, partaking in fen fenugreek tea. And not only is it good for your hair, it's good for your skin, it's good for women who are experiencing menopause or premenopausal. Um, it's, also, it's also good for men too to help with their bones and testosterone levels. Um, for women, it's uh, estrogen. So I've been drinking the fenugreek tea on a regular basis, along with, uh, I think two weeks ago, I was doing uh, fenugreek tea spray on my hair, on my dreads, um, on a daily basis. Then I ran out of that. So then I'm using coffee, switch off to the coffee. Um, Either one has been really nice. Um, yeah, the fenugreek tea, put it on your spray it on your hair. And on your scalp, on my scalp, it helps with dry scalp if I have it. Itchy scalp if I have it. Um, it seems to help with elasticity. It feels like my hair is more springier. It's a lot softer, more vibrant. And using a combination of different things on, the, on my dreads helps a lot. Um, uh, I used to really wonder why women in the Rasta uh, 
spiritual uh, path would wear their hair tied up or wrapped up all the time. At least a lot of them that I was meeting when I worked at a health food store who called themselves R the Rasta and they wore the hair uh, wrapped up and I noticed the men weren't doing that. But whether it's a gender thing or not, I understand why people wrap their dreads up in general because of uh, the moisture. Um, when your hair is like, put up like this, whatever, and uh, out of the way, it seems like I retain more moisture. And if my hair is out and about, my hair gets drier. So I can't wear my hair like this um, for a long time, like to bed and all that, and for several days. I did try um, wearing my hair like this uh, to bed for several days, and I did it, but my scalp was really sore. So never do that if it's, if it's pulling too much and your scalp feels sore. And that's a good indication that this is not something you should sleep on. <laughs> Wait till all your hair becomes one length, maybe. Because I feel like if my hair was all one length, I wouldn't have that problem. That I could braid it in one braid, and then this braid, and then... Or just what, all one braid. But my hair is so many different lengths. So um, I have to do it this way to where the braiding is comfortable during the daytime. At night, I'm not going to sleep with this. I'm just going to take my... What I do is I take my dreads down. And then I put a scarf on and bring the longer dreads to the sides so, <laughs> so that I can avoid, you know, any lint or anything like that. I don't have silk sheets and satin sheets and pillowcases. I do need to get those, invest in those. I haven't had those ever since my journey. <laughs> I had that, that satin uh, sleep cap that I was using for a while. And it was working really well, but then it... The stitching wasn't that good on it, and I made it myself, so I've got no one to blame but me. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to touch bases with you guys, see how your journey's doing. Mine's doing really well. Um, as I said, I'm still using the wild growth hair oil, and I'm also um, using the Jamaican black castor oil, mango and lime. That one's nice. I'm still using the uh, uh, fro baby, or fro butter, I mean, <laughs> fro butter, um, black soap, black uh, soap shampoo to wash my dreads, and uh, yeah, it works really nicely. Um, some say that the black soap is really drying. I feel like it's, it, it, uh, it offers me the deep cleaning that I need for my dreads, because uh, I, I cleanse them once a week, sometimes twice a week with the summer, with it being hot, and I rinse them down every day um, to keep moisture going so anyway thanks for joining me today just wanted to give you a little free fun dreadlock update um, and see how yours is going thanks for subscribing liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family and thank you for your kind comments leave your comments down below and let me know how your journey's going if you want to donate you can go to my paypal google pay or cash app and in exchange for your donation i'll create a video of a topic of your choosing or create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you. So, that's it. Brightest blessings to y'all, and I'll see you soon.